Hey guys, barely 10 o'clock in the morning. It's hot out. I'll tell you what we're doing today, but it does involve physical labor and taking your time and enjoying the time. You know what? I'm getting old sucks. But it's not a pleasure given to everybody. So I'm very thankful for being tired and sweating my boot off. Oh, pardon me a minute. Kind of gets me into uh, what I want to chat about today. Hmm. I'm pretty much done on the house stuff. It's up for sale, Celestion on MLS. Great house, 180 Pauline Drive, Hazel Green, Alabama. 6,000 square foot shop, 2,200 square foot home, completely updated. Um, hardwood floors, oak, red oak, custom tile work in the bathroom and kitchens, and yada, yada, yada. Fresh coat of paint, ground molding. House is actually made of stone. Shop, 6,000 square feet, comes with a paint booth got 440 to it and about eight tons of HVAC so it's a great house good property uh, just under three acres uh, so what I'm doing today is uh, cleaning out one of the outbuildings get all the trash and stuff out we're just about done scrapping out from uh, my old business um, still got uh, boneyard to do um, some cars and stuff. Most of the smaller parts are already gone. I think we've done uh, probably six or seven loads to the dump, which is not done. It's just like four miles away, so it ain't that big of a deal. Or got to the dump, but the scrapyard. Hmm. So, uh, most of you know, or some of you might have known, I'm going to be 57 this year. Um, a little less than a month and uh, starting to have to go to the doctor more often which is kind of uh, not that bad but um, it's, it's a kind of analogize it to uh, if you own a classic car it kind of needs to go to the shop once in a while for some adjustments or you need to spend some time on it check your valves or your oil changes that kind of stuff otherwise uh, they don't get maintenance, they don't work. So I kind of figure that's going to be the same way on the human body. Uh, started on blood pressure medicine last year. Dosage was too high. And it was causing my blood pressure to drop completely out. So we have the dosage and it seems to be working just fine. I'm um, giving blood regularly because I get a high iron content of blood. This is kind of the stuff you've got to look forward to, guys. Uh. Hmm. So I have my straight pipe out today. This is the next one in rotation. Um, we will be doing some more pipe cleaning videos and some more pipe reviews and that kind of stuff. And I've got to get get some more tobacco and we'll see if we can get a mystery pack and we'll sample it. We'll see what it tastes like. I do have some more uh, beer reviews coming up. Uh, we're trying to, uh, I'm trying to collect, uh, some interesting brews, some local, some not, um, and just kind of give them a review. It's stuff I've, I've either had or I've been wanting to try. I'm not a big fan of the IPAs or the blondes, um, but we will be trying some of those down the road. I think I've got, uh, one coming up that's a very hoppy IPA. Um, uh, the English stouts are usually my favorites but or russian stouts you know bread in a, bread in a jar so in this getting older thing i used to get mad at myself in my mid 40s because i could tell myself slowing down it's like shh, you know i used to be able to do this all day all you know i used to work 10 hours a day no problem very physical job um uh, i was a uh, uh, construction 
guy. I worked my way up to the ranks and I started as a laborer and I ended up as a general manager for a development company. Um, different companies along the way, but as my skill set increased. But I was still, you know, even though I was a VP of operations, and I spent most of my day out in the field working with the guys. And they seemed to respect that because, you know, I knew what was going on. I could see the problems they were having. And it's like, being that I had some experience, a lot of experience, um, they were going to, uh, they would get stuck. They were young guys. So, you know, I came up on 57. It's given me some time to reflect while I've been off, wait for the house to sell. And uh, there was some uh, sad days, some good days, bad days, mediocre days. You know what that's called? Being human. And yeah, it's okay. So I physically can't do as much as I did. I used to, you know, skateboard for hours and hours, ride BMX bikes, you know, on tracks for five or six hours, or, you know, swim for five hours at a time. So I just can't do that stuff anymore. Even though I'm not really out of shape, my you know my body mass index is about where it should be for my age. You know I'm six foot three, weigh under 185 pounds. Have a little bit of a gut right now, but you know, show me a 57 year old that really doesn't. It's not a fitness guy. So part of the reason that I need to slow down, or accept the fact that I can slow down. His wife and I have been together oh, 10 years now plus, and it's it's uh, it's wonderful. I, I I love her. No, you say love her to death, but I, I don't want her to die. Um, I don't want her to die. And it's like so. She's got another 40 years that I promised her, and she promised me another 40 years. So that should get us to uh, just about 100. Somewhere in there, that's what we're shooting for, 110. I think my grandmother was, uh, uh, maternal grandmother was 99, almost 100 when she passed. Um, my uh, father is now in his mid-70s, and he's still still cruising around, doing his thing. Uh, he just he takes more breaks, just like I do. And it's been interesting getting to know my dad again, especially since I'm a grumpy old man, and he's a grumpy old man. He's just loud. <sighs> So take care of your guys' health, take your breaks, know you're not going to get as much done as you used to, work smarter, not harder, finesse, not force, and get off my lawn. Okay, back to work.